They'll be calling you a radical. I want to give everybody an update and talk about the Sandlot. Now, this is from before when San Onofre was even built. These are historic, historic gems. So, the liars. I mean, this shit belongs in a museum. A lot of my stuff belongs in a museum. But yeah, I am a fucking museum. It's pretty sad. This is before it was built. I've been digging out some of my San Onofre stuff from when I, I mean, I've been fighting these fuckers since I was a child. That's what it was supposed to look like, the artist's rendition. That's what they sold us, the bill of goods. That's Pendleton, Camp Pendleton. Fucking lying scum. And so, the reason I'm talking about this is all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. All over the country. The Trump administration is in earnest right now. Belling out the nuclear industry. I, I, people are asleep. The activist community, where are you? That's a real one. Oh, there was no protest in Japan? The fuck they weren't. That's from Japan. You know, in the early days. How do I know? Oh, I fucking know. So I wrote a letter to Obama today. And, uh, because I've had time to reflect now. And I told him. He's the biggest criminal in the history of mankind. You people that all hate Trump, which Trump's a dirtbag, just like Obama's a dirtbag. He's a fucking lying, self-indulged, selfish prick. Just like America. That's what the tide pools are supposed to look like in California. Right there. That's what they're supposed to look like. What's this? That's the evacuation calendar at Diablo. I fight there so many times, whatever. Do they look like that? No, they're deader than fuck. So... You know, this is when the fight ended. What year is this, Kevin? That's when everybody quit fighting in the country. So this is important. And I want to say this, too, about the Supreme Court. The liberals that are having fits right now and are fucking mad at the country and where it is, and they should be fucking mad. The whole country should be mad. They stole everything. I mean, these corporatist whores, you got one person to fucking blame. One. One. One, 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 Tommy Obama, Tommy Obama, Uncle Tommy Obama, Uncle Tommy Obama, what a fucking dirtbag, the biggest liar in history, I'll post a letter that I wrote to him, so now, get this, so I've been told that a lot of my stuff was classified, I was going crazy, they're admitting they went after me now, I got one of my comments from 2013 at the Senate and Opera hearings. They kicked me out for it, got declassified, and it got listed into the domain today. Ha! Huh. Wow. Five years after I fucking, you know, they hit it. So the Senate and Opera emails, by law, the judge ruled it had to be out 10 days, 12 days ago. You seen them? Nope. There is no fucking law in this country anymore. Well, two sets. I want to say this about the Supreme Court, the hijacking Supreme Court, to the left. You're all fucking worried about the replacement of Kennedy. Anthony Kennedy could be the biggest betraying, rat criminal, worst Supreme Court justice in the history of the country. I mean, I used to tell all the time people, bitch, I said, name me. You know, they couldn't name one, let alone, they couldn't even tell you how many he was. He is the biggest betraying liar, and I'll tell you why. Get worse? You know, you hear Roe versus Way, Roe versus Way. They'll never overturn Roe versus Way. That ain't going to happen. The truth is this. That's why the left and the right. He upheld this. He upheld Price Anderson and made it to the Supreme Court. 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. They would have been all gone a long time ago. What was the bigger one he did? Remember? George Bush did not win. It's unfucking arguable. Read my fucking lips. He did not win. He didn't win that. Electoral College, he didn't win Florida. It wasn't even close. That's been fact. I've got some problems. I had an accident yesterday. I have implants, you know, from a pair of brass knuckles that I rally years ago. Scars up and down me. So I got to... I lost one of my implants yesterday. I fell. But, I don't know. My chest split open. I mean, my body's been through so much in the last seven years. 
I start to think about it, I almost start to cry. Obama lied to us, but Kennedy, he upheld Gore Bush, which is the biggest scam in the United States. It's not a court. That's not a court. The decision that Kennedy, Kennedy was the, he voted for, it was the most unconstitutional thing in human history until the Patriot Act came along, which gave us the Patriot Act. So you're worried about getting rid of Kennedy, the worst Supreme Court justice in the history of mankind. Scalia, guys, you know what he why did Why have we not seen Scalia's body? I mean, the autopsy, because he would, had a drug overdose. It's like, oh, we're worried about the drug addicts, the drug addicts. Woo, Pfizer or Merck? You see how many Oxycontin fucking overdoses there are a day in this country? I mean, it never fucking ending. These criminal derelicts are, I mean, welfare, <laughs> I mean, Trump's the byproduct. I don't blame Trump for this, even though I can't stand the fucking lying, creepy, fucking self-indulged, fucking phony... You know, pull yourself out of the bootstraps when he's bailing them out. Where is the activist community? Where the fuck is the activist community? They're fucking bailing them out. I mean, this is going at the federal level. They already bailed them out in New York and New Jersey and Illinois and South Carolina and fucking Utah. I mean, I'm on my own. Fuck. The greatest crime in human. I'll post a letter I wrote to him today. Uncle Tommy Obama, I call him. Barry Antoine, I let he committed the greatest crime in human history. I said it over and over. I have the situation room. I know what happened in the situation room. I know what happened. I told you over and over and over. John Holden, the eugenicist, was in there. The five jeeps sat. They sent in to evacuate the whole island, to entomb the fucking thing. John Holden made them stand down. Barack Obama, one guy, the commander-in-chief. His mother died of leukemia at 52 years old. Just, they don't care. They don't care. I mean, look at the hatred for John McCain. If I could take back my vote for Obama, would I take back my vote? Oh, fuck yeah. I'd vote for McCain in a second over Obama. So I want to say this. You know, these people that covered up Fukushima, do I have any pity for them? I don't know. I'm trying to learn to love my neighbors. I call myself, you know, I don't know. I, I love my neighbors. I'm trying to learn to love my enemies. This young woman in New York, she's the real face of hope. She reminds me of my grandson. She looks just like you. you know, she, the big, beautiful eyes. I mean, I was in the street yesterday. I never had so much hope. The old polygamists, some of the old guys that I know that I haven't seen in the street in 40 years were there. Oh, it's real. It's real. This new wave is fucking real. They've had it. This youth has fucking had it. How could they not fucking have it? They know about Fukushima. They know about the lies. How do they pay rent? Go to fucking college? Get $200,000 to get a piece of paper that can't do it? A bunch of lying pieces of shit like John Holden at Harvard are going to give you? How do they pay rent? As I will quote the young woman at the rally yesterday. Thank you to this generation. Thank you to the baby boomer generation. These Democrats and Republicans. Thank you for I will never be able to buy a house. I will have to live with five or six people my whole life. I will never be out of debt. I will be paying all your national debt until my kids, my grandchildren will be paying it up. I will have cancer by the time I'm 35 years old. Thank you. And I'm supposed to swear allegiance to a Republican or a Democrat? Fuck you, she screams. <laughs> they all know. Barack Obama. I am a co-founder of the Million Mass March. We started it wrapped around this. I'll say this. I told you the truth. I took so much chance. I read Hillary's emails online. They were all to cover up Fukushima. You all went along. This youth knows. I saw what you did, and I know who you all are. John McCain dying of cancer right now. And you're going to fucking... <laughs> well, it's heartbreaking. I really listened to Megan, uh, Megan, his daughter, talk, and I... You know, I don't cry very often. It made me cry. I know what it feels like. I watched my dad die from right here. I watched him when he was. I watched him. It's her father. POW. You know, I was never a big fan of his, but I learned to be. He's dying of cancer. I was in that bone marrow transplant center going in and out of a coma. 
It's been so heartbreaking along this fucking path. I don't think anybody has any fucking clue how much death I've watched and how hard I've fought. Just, I mean, I'm trying to stay alive. Walking the coast of California, sleeping back, playing a count of 30. Wipe me out financially, but I don't care about that part. It's all the death I've had to watch. Head of the sport group in there, all the, everybody in there died. I mean, too many. I, I've experienced, I've sat with people and watched this death more than a thousand lifetimes. I really have. It's been too hard on me. Oh, yeah, way too fucking hard on me. Way too hard on me. Physically, financially, mentally, it's been way too fucking hard on me. I was thinking about it today. I don't know how the fuck I've done it. You worried about Kennedy? Fuck, good riddance. This all started in 2000 when Bush stole the election. One guy, Roger, at Fox News. The other networks had it right. They stole the Supreme Court. They jerry-rigged the fucking districts. They poisoned, and you have one person to fucking blame because there was a resistance vote that happened to big times of peace activists. This all started right here at a peace rally. I got hit with a pair of brass knuckles across my face by a cop for fucking protesting George Bush his fucking invasion of Afghanistan. We're still there. I got implants that broke my jaw. I had part of my jaw cleared out, a scar across me. I fell yesterday and broke one of the implants. I started thinking about my chest split wide open. Mercy gallbladder surgery, my Fukushima fish hook. The type of disease I have is there's no hope for survival. There's only one other guy. He's nine years out and it's back in his body right now. I love my grandchildren. I love my children. I fight for what's right. Let my father fight for me. I'm heartbroken. I really am heartbroken. I, I tell you, I was thinking about it today, and I saw those pictures of her with her dad. The hatred is in this fucking country, and the left doesn't know how to fight back. It's simple. I was known as a bully buster when I was a kid. I was a great athlete. I was small. I come from a family of fucking incredible athletes. They're all big but me because I was a, the mutated runt. My brother tells a great story at Weber High School in the 70s. Is, we had 2,000 students there. I mean, I'm a 110, 15-pounder, long-haired artist. Good athlete. Two biggest boys in the school, two years older. It's a big fight. The whole school's over there. And they go over there, and there it is. Kevin's fighting them both at the same fucking time. I see those guys now. They come up and hug me. We're friends. Fight the fucking bully, he'll be your friend. Stand up to the bully, he'll be your fucking friend. Stand up, that's what they want. That's what they're begging for. Barack Obama is the biggest Tommy Obama rat that ever walked, what he did to me. We could have took precautions. We could have took precautions. He lied. I want you to know what I know. He lied. Now we have the emails that are coming out. They went after me. They went after me while I was in critical condition. Felonies. Felonies. You don't know the hell that I've been through for seven years. You have no idea the hell that I've been through. You have no clue the hell that I've been through. You have no idea the hell that I've been through. No idea. No idea. I'm a strong person. Really a strong person. And I, I've had to use all of it, then some. Thank you to everybody who supported this historic work. Kamala Harris, come on. Come on, you promised this. You promised me you'd finish this job. She was the Attorney General. That's what they used to look like. Kamala Harris, that's from San Marcos. I hiked in there. Remember I almost had a heart attack in there that day? Remember that? You could see me gasping. I had to sneak in there. Journey rain, I snuck in there. Critical condition. Fuck, I took so much risk that day. So they harassed me. Now my emails and my comments and everything that was done through back and forth, through the DOE, through PG&E, through Cal Ed and everything, they come out today. They get posted today. Huh. July 1st, five fucking something years later after I did all that work. Now you put them out. The communications between me and PG&E and DONE and fuck. If the truth was known in my work, I'd get some respect. 
but they hid it. They covered it all up. <laughs> Good riddance, Kennedy, you fucking low-life dirtbag. Doesn't matter who Trump appoints. Fucking Satan himself would be better than fucking Kennedy, like Obama. Trump is you, what you see is what you get. And the Democrats and the youth, they ain't buying your shit no more, I'm here to tell you. They're in debt, they're poor, they're, they're fucking numb. They know. Serving cops over ten dollars an hour paying rent fucking all over fifteen hundred they can't do it. They know it. The greatest betrayers in human history, Anthony Kennedy on the Supreme Court. Good fucking riddance. Bye bye. The sec well, he's second. The biggest betrayer on the face of the earth are none. Barack Obama. Uncle Tommy Obama in blackface only. The greatest actor, the greatest liar. Remember he could have pocket rid of the Patriot Act, said he would, didn't he re upped it? This is a guy who vetoed the 9 11 bit. This is a guy who went after every whistleblower and killed him, including Eric Swartz. This is a guy that put an 85 year old fucking nun environmentalist in prison, Megan Rice, for life. <laughs> Dorothy Day's protege. This Dorothy Day you say, true man, true man, I hope is fucking, all that vapor from fucking Japan sucks up into your fucking head and kills you. That's the great peace activist, Dorothy Day. Megan Rice, her protege, that's the Barry Obama. You know, what a fraud. You have one person to thank. One, one, one. Barack O'Fucking-Bama. Stay in tune. This fucking bellout, the Trump boy, fucking dirtbag in this GOP welfare queen Congress, tax the fucking future, tax the future, tax the future, these kids all know. And spend it on me, 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 the me, me generation. Too bad you didn't all die before you got old. For the future of the youth, you've done souls. We can't pay the rent, old man Trump. <laughs> Our money done been fucking spent. It's fucking sad. They're bailing out the nuclear industry and nobody's fighting back. I am. fought so hard. What an accomplishment, San Onofre. Stand tuned.